डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुमेर सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट लोहिया कॉलेज चूरू टूडे इन दिस क्लास ऑफ बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट पेपर फर्स्ट पोइट्री एंड ड्रामा वी विल स्टडी अबाउट लिटरेरी टर्म्स अमंग द लिटरेरी टर्म्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज लिरिक एज वी हैव स्टडीड in the previous classes about sonnet in the same way lyric is also one of the most important literary terms and type of poetry in english literature as sonnet is also one of the most important kind of romantic poetry in the same way lyric is also one of the most important kind of a uh, romantic poetry and literary term so today we will study literary terms and among the literary terms lyric is today's topic so first of all i want to tell you that what are the literary terms literary terms means literary names literary titles literary concepts which are used in literature to define the literary definitions the literary concepts so in this way we can say that when we want to study literature then literary terms and literary concepts and literary uh, uh, titles are very important to understand so in this way today we will study about lyric that what is the definition of lyric what are the types of lyric who are the important lyricists in english literature and what are the most important examples of lyric in english literature so dear students as we know that there are the two kinds of poetry classical poetry and romantic poetry classical poetry is objective poetry romantic poetry is subjective poetry so lyric is one of the most important kind of subjective poetry or romantic poetry like sonnets lyric lyrics also written mostly during the time of elizabethan age or romantic age most important lyricist of english literature wrote their lyrical poetry during the elizabethan age so in this class first of all we will start from the definition of lyric that what is the definition of lyric so first we start the definition of lyric lyric is the best known form of romantic and subjective poetry in english literature the term lyric is taken from the word lyre which means musical pipe or a flute so lyric is basically taken from the form uh, taken from the word lyre which means a musical pipe or a flute hindi mein hum usko bansuri keh sakte hain to bansuri se gaaye jaane wala jo gana hai usko lyric kehte hain originally the term lyric comes from the latin word lyricus which means of the lyre it means lyric is a song of a lyre is a song of a flute it means we can say that lyric is a song that is sung with the help of a lyre or a flute or a musical pipe and the middle french word lyric meaning a short poem expressing emotion so in french word the lyric denotes the meaning short poem which expresses emotion it means in lyric a single emotion is expressed so the definition of lyric is also that lyric is a song which is sung with the help of a lyre a flute or a musical pipe and in a lyric the lyricist or a poet expresses a single emotion or a single passion of his heart so the definition is thus therefore lyric is basically a song sung with the help of a lyre flute or a musical pipe in a lyric the poet expresses a single emotion or a feeling of heart which may be 
of joy, happiness, love, sorrow, or pain. So, the single emotion of heart may be of any kind, that may be of serious kind, that may be of joy, happiness, etc. Lyric has a rhythm and sound that is also or almost musical when recited aloud. So, we can say that lyric is basically a song and song is recited aloud. It means lyric is recited, lyric is sung aloud and when we sing a lyric in a loud form or aloud, then a rhythm, a particular sound is automatically generated. So, in a lyric definitely there is a rhythm. As we know that in sonnet, rhythm is also, rhyme scheme is also. But in the lyric, rhyme scheme is not a compulsory rule. Rhythm is compulsory because without rhythm, a poetry can't be a song or if there is no song, it means that is not a poetry. So, both subject matter and style are simple in a lyric poetry. So, we can say that lyric is the simplest form of poetry or it is a simplest form of a song. Basically, all poetry are the songs, but lyric is the simplest form of all lyrics or we can say that lyric is the simplest form of all kind of poetry because lyrics subject matter as well as its style language both are simple. So, this is the definition of lyric. Now, we come to the topic of lyrics in English literature because lyric as we know that lyric is one of the most important kind of literary genre. So, lyrics are mostly written in English literature during the time of Elizabethan age and there are innumerable examples of lyric in English literature. So, we study in this topic that uh, how li uh, much lyrics were written in English literature or what is the position of lyric in English literature. In English li literature, lyrics were prominently written in Elizabethan age or Shakespearean age and in the age of Romantic age or we can say that in the age of Romantic age or as well as in the age of Romantic revival. The poet of English literature wrote several type of lyrics such as pastoral lyric, love lyric, metaphysical lyric, nature lyric and so on. So, in this way the poets wrote several kind of lyrics such as love lyrics, metaphysical lyric, nature lyric and so on. Christopher Marlowe, Sir Walter Raleigh, Robert Barnes, John Dunn, William Wordsworth, Lord Alfred Tennyson, W. B. Yeats are the best known lyricists in English literature. So, dear students, we can say that lyrics were written in all ages of English literature, in all periods of English literature, but mostly important lyrics were written during the time of Elizabethan age. So, Elizabethan age is the best known age of lyrics as well as of sonnets. But lyrics were written in all ages. In Elizabethan age, Christopher Marlowe, Sir Walter Raleigh, uh, Shakespeare, Spencer are the important lyricists. Later on, in metaphysical age, John Dunn also wrote metaphysical lyrics, love lyrics. In the age of romantic revival, William Wordsworth wrote beautiful lyrics. Lord Alfred Tennyson wrote beautiful lyrics during the time of Victorian period. W. Yeats is the well-known lyricist who wrote lyrics in modern age. So, we can say from the Elizabethan age to modern age, lyrics were written prominently in English literature. So, lyric is most important type of uh, poetry in English literature. <coughs> now, we come to the examples of lyric that what are the important examples of lyric in English literature. So, we can say that before examples, we want to discuss the important characteristics of lyric, that what are the important characteristics of lyric in English literature. Uh, as we know that both subject matter and 
स्टाइल आर सिंपल इन ए लिरिक द सेकेंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स लिरिक इज लॉन्गर देन सोनेट और वी कैन से लिरिक इज लॉन्गर देन द जनरल पॉइम सो लिरिक मे बी ऑफ ट्वेंटी लाइन्स फिफ्टी लाइन्स और मोर देन सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वालिटी एंड इन लिरिक द पोइट एक्सप्रेस इज ए सिंगल इमोशन ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ए करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिरिक दैट पोइट एक्सप्रेस इज ए सिंगल इमोशन ऑफ हिज हार्ट एंड द इमोशन मे बी ऑफ सीरियस काइंड एज वेल एज ऑफ गेटी सो दिस इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ ए लिरिक एंड लिरिक इज इजिली रिसाइटेबल लिरिक इज इजिली संग विद द हेल्प ऑफ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इट कैन बी संग विद द म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड वी कैन रेसाइट इट अलाउडली सो दैट इज ऑल्सो क्वालिटी ऑफ लिरिक लिरिक इज ऑल्सो मेमोरेबल वी कैन इजिली मेमोराइज लिरिक सो दीज आर द इम्पोर्टेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लिरिक नाउ वी कम टू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लिरिक that what are the best example of lyric in english literature as we know that in all ages of english literature lyrics were written prominently and poets expressed their feelings of heart in all ages of english literature but the best examples of lyric are as follows the first example the passionate shepherd to his love this is the pastoral love lyric and it is written by christopher marlowe Christopher Marlowe is one of the most important poet of Elizabethan age and Christopher Marlowe wrote basically dramas and among dramas he wrote tragedies but except tragedies he also wrote beautiful love lyrics and the best example is the passionate shepherd to his love and this is the romantic lyric or it is a pastoral love lyric then the sun rising Sun rising is the most important love lyric of John Donne and it is a metaphysical love lyric as you know that John Donne is the father of metaphysical poetry in English literature so John Donne love lyrics as well as metaphysical lyrics and all love lyrics of John Donne are the metaphysical lyrics so the sun rising is the beautiful example of a metaphysical love lyric the third one is the solitary reaper solitary reaper is a important lyric and it is written by william wordsworth william wordsworth is the most important or age representative poet of romantic revival in english literature and he wrote several beautiful lyrics the solitary reaper is also a nature lyric so it is the best example of lyric then the lotos eaters Lotus Eaters is also beautiful lyric and this poem is well known for the musical quality or the lyrical quality so Tennyson wrote beautiful lyrics and it is the lyric of Victorian age as Tennyson is the representative poet of Victorian age the lake isle of inspree lake isle of inspree is also a lyric and it is also uh, we can say a nature lyric because in this poem the poet describes about the beauty of nature so it is written by w b yeats w b yeats is no doubt the leading poet of modern age but being a modern poet he wrote beautiful lyrics and he also wrote beautiful love lyrics so in this way uh, as we have uh, seen that lyrics were written in all ages of english literature so these are the best example of lyric in this way dear students in this today's class we have discussed lyric in detail as we have discussed what is the definition of lyric how lyric is generated in literature and then we have discussed lyrics or the position of lyric in english literature and then we have discussed the characteristics qualities of lyric as well as the best examples of lyric in english literature so dear students today we have discussed lyric in detail and i think you will know about lyric in this class very well so thanks for today in the next class we will discuss the another topic and the another poem thank you for today